Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the first date tag and I was inspired to do this tag by Soothing Sista, which she is gorgeous and I admire her style so much. Let's go ahead and start. The first question, how long does it take you to get ready for a date? For me, it probably takes a good solid hour. If I'm taking a shower, probably an hour and a half. Number two, what's your idea of the perfect first date? Well, my first date was kind of really different. Okay, so I'm, this is like the idea of the perfect first date, which my first date was probably the perfect first date for the situation. Okay, so me and my boyfriend, we've been dating for almost three years now, all long distance. And so, and he's my first boyfriend, my first date, everything first. Our first date, like official date that we had was probably my idea of the perfect first date because when I, well, for me at least, going on the first date, it was like a little bit awkward because it's like you don't really know each other that well. I Okay, so there's options. So A, dinner, B, drink, C, cinema or the movie theater, D, adventurous dates. And I would probably have to say C, well, a combination of C and A, so dinner and a movie. And the reason why I say this is because like the first date, since it's kind of awkward, um, when you're watching a movie, you don't have to talk. I know it sounds really bad, but you don't have to talk. You can just sit there, be together, and watch a movie. So it kind of takes out some of the awkwardness of the first date. Number three, what would you grab... Grab <laughs> Number three, what would you grab... Gravitate? <laughs> gravitate towards... What would you gravitate towards on the first date? Um, or to wear on a date in general? For me, it, A, jeans, B, trousers, C, skirt, D, dress... For me, I always usually wear a dress on a date. Um, I don't know why. That's just what I gravita gravitate towards. I love getting all dressed up. Number four. On the date of your choice, what makeup would you wear? A. Girl next door. B. Smoky and sexy. C. Bold lip. D. Brights. I'm guessing like bright eyes or something. LOL, my name. But yeah, usually I gravitate towards a bold lip. I like to wear red lips on dates a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. I don't know. It's, I like being bold. Number five, your date says you have half an hour to be ready. What do you do? Okay, <laughs> so this is kind of funny because my first official date was a surprise. So I wasn't prepared whatsoever. Me and my boyfriend were long distance, right? So we planned on Skyping, having a Skype date on Valentine's Day. So it's like, woohoo, you know, we decided to dress up. I know it sounds really cheesy, but we decided to dress up and have the Skype date. Okay, so what I did was I did my hair, my makeup, and I put on a dress. Everything else was just like, whatever, like, I don't know. I think I even had like pajama bottoms on. <laughs> so the doorbell rings. And my mom, this is like 5 p.m. at night. My mom goes, Christy, I think it's, can you get the door or something? Like, she's just like, can you get the door? Um, or I think she said something like, oh, there's like a delivery or something. I think Polly, my boyfriend, said that there was going to be a delivery around like 5 or something. Like a gift or something. I was like, oh, okay. And so I go downstairs, open the door. Or no, no, no. I looked through the keyhole and I was like, I like had a heart attack he was standing there with a dozen red roses all dressed up and I was like oh my gosh and I you know I felt ugly you know I had like I kind of just threw myself together for the Skype date in half an hour so pretty much I wasn't even ready like at all and I hadn't I hadn't even like brushed my teeth yet I think that sounds so bad but I hadn't even brushed my teeth and so I had to brush my teeth I had to put on shoes and uh, oh my gosh so it was like really awkward because oh to top it all off, that was his first time meeting my parents, okay? So it was like, uh, and then I had to like go brush my teeth in the bathroom and I didn't know what to wear on the bottom because I didn't really have shoes that matched that dress and it was just like awful. Well, it wasn't awful. It wasn't awful. <laughs> Scratch that. It was just so awkward, but yet amazing because it turned out to be an amazing long relationship that hopefully will turn into longer. Number six, your date asks for the bill. Do you offer to pay with actual meaning to pay? Make a fuss with no intention of paying or expect him to pay straight away. Um, I kind of expected him to pay just because it seemed more of a formal date. It's also Valentine's Day and 
I don't know. I think I, I I'm not the kind of person like I think what we do we have what we have done. Man, I'm like tripping. What we have done our entire relationship is we've like switched off occasionally. Like I don't know. I can't really remember. But like different dates or scenarios. Like for example, last like our two year anniversary, he planned everything. Our three year anniversary, which is coming up, I'm planning everything because he's gonna be here, and I think I might pay for dinner and stuff. But I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. But like we switch off with one another um, on who pays. We're not, I'm not like, you need to pay every second of the day because I, that's like unrealistic. We're both college students. We're both trying to make money. We're both traveling back and forth to see each other. We're, you know, we're not rich and we need to take turns and yeah. Do you go out with him again? <laughs> LOL. Yeah, I did because we were boyfriend and girlfriend and yeah. Seven. It's time to say goodbye. Okay, wait. I forgot to add something. On this first date, Okay, <laughs> I don't know if this was like the make it, this was like the make it, um, you know, make it or break it, this was like the make it, but it was so funny. I just find it hilarious um, and amazing at the same time. So we went to this Italian restaurant and we had pizza, and you know like when you eat pizza, it's like, so it's like you're going to get stuff in your teeth. So um, I, I'm like, ugh, I wish I had brought floss, <laughs> okay. And then he, like, reaches into his pocket and whips out floss, and I was like, oh my gosh. I don't know why, I just think that's hilarious, yeah, we had, like, floss ready to go, so we both took turns going into the bathroom and flossing our teeth. Yeah, we're weird, but we're weird together, and it's awesome. It's time to say goodbye, you really like your date, do you wave, hug, kiss on the cheek, peck, full-on smooch? Well, we probably just hugged, we just hugged. Um, cause at this point we weren't kissing yet, but yeah, we just gave each other a hug and honestly, I don't really remember like, oh, I think he went back to his grandma's house that night cause I think he borrowed her car, but yeah. So anyway, so that was kind of the first date tag. It was kind of twisted in a little way cause I kind of went off of like my first date and like what happened on it. Not like many dates or whatever because I've only really... I've only had one boyfriend, so I've only been on one first date. But yeah, so that was the first date tag. Thank you, Soothing Sister, for inspiring me to this tag. And I would like to tag a few people. I would love for you guys to do these tags so I can watch them. And I hope you all will do this tag too because it's so much fun and yeah. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.